Sex is a topic that interests everyone, but the way we think about it can be a little funny. There's plenty of disagreement in our society about sex and how it should be used. Some think we need to open it up more. Sex should be freer. And then there's a lessening number of people who think that it should be handled with more care and caution. But I do think that the large majority of both camps realize that our society is sort of sex sick. I mean, something's wrong. Things are a little too sexualized out there. High schoolers shouldn't be sexting on their phones, and women's images shouldn't be degraded in the way they are in the media, and kids should not be victimized pornographically. And, and even the folks who think sex should be freer kind of realize that we need to be freer from sex. And that's quite interesting. I think this tension we have in the way we think about sex reflects a, a deeper cultural bipolarity that we have about it. On the one hand, we say that sex is no big deal, it's just a nice pleasure, hooking up with someone needn't be any big thing. On the other hand, you know, like in so many romance movies, the sex scene is the transcendent moment. It comes with the music montage and the ethereal lighting. We want sex to be really unrestricted and uncomplicated, but we also want it to be transcendent. And dang it, it's hard to have it both ways. By contrast, the scripture teachings on sex are pretty simple and straightforward. You know, sex is to be treated with respect because it's powerful. It ought to be sacred, even. Uh, and Jesus' followers have a very straightforward truth about sex. It involves chastity and faithfulness. Sex is to be used in an exclusive context of selfless love. And if we use it without love, or worse yet, if we use it in hopes of generating love, then we're confusing love with lust. And, and all manner of damage comes from that. The biggest thing being that we kind of diminish ourselves. If we misuse sex, then it makes it difficult for us to see ourselves as the higher spiritual creatures that we're supposed to be. But how do you deal with God's truth about sex in a culture that's so phenomenally sexualized? Well, I think it starts with grace. God is actually willing to deal with you on sex. He's willing to meet you where you're at, uh, even to make concessions according to scripture. Uh, he's, he's willing to deal with you. It's just that he's not willing to deal in lies. He's not willing to pretend that sex is whatever we want it to be, whenever we want it. He knows we're struggling, but he wants us to rise above our pretensions and our shallow indulgences and our sort of bipolar fuzzy headedness. You know, the hope for sex is that we'd have freedom to enjoy it or to set it aside, to engage it or to sacrifice it. And to be able to love someone fully without the pressure of our sexuality coloring our sense of our own lovability or our sense of other people's loveliness. Ideally, our sexuality is supposed to be this huge spiritual blessing to us. You know, so, so ask yourself, does it feel like a blessing to you? Or does it feel like a burden?